Okay guys, what's up? I'm gonna keep this as short as possible today. I have been having a big issue uh, and I didn't even realize. So this has only come to attention uh, because I have been playing around with files trying to see how my Sigma was doing after um, the last video where I got it repaired. And what I've noticed is um, I was doing a bunch of image tests and using Lightroom Classic, which I always use. And I was viewing files and they were looking like this. You know, you can see some detail, but I wasn't sure what was going on with the files. I didn't know why they looked so washed out, which in hindsight, I think it's because of the camera flat profile. But it just, I was looking here and I thought, has this thing lost a step and have we lost some sharpness? And I replaced the Z9 kit with the Canon. Um, I'm shooting uh, the R5 right now with some of the cheaper lenses, the RF 100 to 400 and RF 800 F11. And I was shooting back to backs and uh, shooting the same subject and they were way, 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 way sharper. Um, and you can see here, let's see here, what do we, what have we got here? So uh, here's a good example. So this is an Eastern Kingbird and I shot this here and you can see the Canon file. You can see the noise and the noise I'll get back to you because I didn't notice that right away. But you can see the details, some sort of bug on them, but really nice feather detail. That's the 800 F11 and then 300%. Same bird, same post, a uh, couple feet down, and here's the NEF file, here's the Nikon at 300%, and look how smudgy that is. Now, I didn't notice before, but something's happening to the noise grain, and I suspect somewhere, some profile is applying some sort of denoising or something. I don't know what it is. If you know what's going on, then let me know in the comments below, although at this point it probably doesn't matter because I've already left Lightroom Classic. Uh, but I actually had someone from Adobe remote into my computer last night for about an hour and it was I shouldn't have done that so late at night. It was very tired at work today, but he couldn't figure it out either. We completely deleted and reinstalled Lightroom Classic. We um, played around with the catalog. We figured out everything. Um, just to show, let's go back here to this file. And, and I guess to, before I get to that, um, I'd been shooting the Sigma 135 1.8 and testing that with my kid and I don't have any of those shots handy here. Um, but I was having a very similar problem with that. It seemed like nothing was sharp and I thought maybe I was missing focus. And you'll see some of these shots, like if you go down and you turn up the sharpening, you can kind of like get the detail back, but it still like looks weird. And like why you shouldn't have to turn your sharpening up to like 150 to get that detail back. And it's just like not giving you the image quality you wanted. So. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was crazy. I honestly don't know how long this has been going on for. Um, it could be months. Um, my, my 135 millimeter tests, those were like two months ago. So I haven't really been posting a lot of work, but there's been something that's off. Something's definitely missing. So um, yeah, we did this test and I said, okay, I'm gonna move things over to Lightroom and I opened the same file in Lightroom and look at the difference here. And let's just see, I'm screen sharing. This isn't gonna be perfect, but if you get them side by side, look at the difference. That is that is massive. Uh, you can see way more detail, way sharper. Um, and again, you know, I had someone, a lot of people said, oh, it's the color. And I said, okay, well, uh, or it's the profile. So let's check that. And if we go to Adobe Color, and then over here, we are also in, uh, oh boy, Adobe Color. So same profile, and now the colors look more or less the same, but there's still a big difference on the detail. And I first noticed this probably because I started using, um, I started using a fast raw viewer, and it's pretty wild, just to give you an idea, if we go through, just to show you how fast Fast Raw Viewer is, if you go through Lightroom, and you'll see here, if I wanna see the details, look how long this takes to load. Let's just try to get the same pose, sorry. You can see that's taking like a good couple of seconds to load each photo. Now, if you go to Fast Raw Viewer, and let's say we zoom in 100%. Oh my goodness, it's, it's all right, it's not my day here. But it's it's loading instantly. My, sorry, my zoom's not working, these pictures aren't the same. 
But here, if you go back, you can see here, like there's, there's no loading. It's just instantly showing me all the detail. So I, I think that's awesome because shooting the Z9 and the R5, they're both huge, um, you know, 45 megapixel sensors. And that gives us a lot of issues. So I was using and I was culling the other day and I was saying, okay, well, hold on. When I come down and I look and I say, uh, where's the CR3 here? So again, let's like, we pull this file and I zoom in on this Robin. This is the R5, awesome feather detail. Well, then I go to the same pose with the Z9 and very good. Now the Canon's actually probably a little bit sharper. Uh, this is with the teleconverter. This is 5.6 instead of f11. It's not stopped down. We're also 100 millimeters shorter, so the Canon's got a little bit more magnification. Who knows what else? But they're in the same ballpark. They're both the same type of sharpness. Well, if we go over to our friend Lightroom Classic, and let's find that shot. Where are we here? I think it's this one. When we click on this, let's go to the develop tab. Look at how rough that looks. That is brutal compared to, uh, we'll go to Lightroom just so all things are equal. Okay, and we're back. Technical difficulties there. I had some issues. My computer's running too many things. Um, okay, but here's the same shot in Lightroom, just Lightroom. Uh, and if you compare that to Fast Raw Viewer, you can see they look the same. Fast Raw Viewer, that's at 200%, that's at 300%, so a bit bigger. Um, but yeah, and then you pull Lightroom Classic back and here's that smudgy mess. Like I said, the noise is gone, so I don't know what it's doing. It's, it's kind of like as if it's like using <laughs> some denoise profile on like everything. I, d I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what it's doing. Like when I turn that down, you get some of the detail back, but it's still it's still like not remotely close to the other programs. So yeah, I, I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm glad to say, uh, first of all, Fast Raw Viewer is awesome, saves my butt. And uh, it's nice to know that the lens is sharp. Um, I did lots of tests just to see where, where we go and which ones are sharper. Um, the Canon kit's very good, but you know, for a lens that was thrown in the lake and wouldn't turn on, I would say that is, is quite nice for that level of zoom. I, I think that's perfectly great. And uh, Fast Raw Viewer has this cool little option that you can kind of click on, click on things to kind of see where the sharpness is, is uh, could be. I guess this isn't actually sharpening for export, but it just kind of shows you what you could do if you dial up the sharpness slider. And that's really sharp, especially once you remove the noise. Uh, that's only ISO 640, so when you zoom in, you're going to get a lot more noise, but, but yeah, if you have any idea what's going on with Lightroom Classic, let me know and uh, maybe I'll make up a, a follow-up, but just to show my import settings. So I just made a brand new catalog right before this video. I have touched nothing here. I have touched no settings and it's not doing this with the Canon files. So I don't know what it's doing. Everything here is totally normal. And I can't remember if I showed, I think I showed some Canon stuff, but if we go to the Canon shots, this is the same Robin from the ground. So that's what we were dealing with. And those details, you can see those look the same as what we're getting in Lightroom. This is from the Nikon and here's the Canon, same bird, same spot on the ground. But then you go over to the Z9 and it's doing something super weird. So if it's applying some weird profile, I don't know why it would just be doing that only in Lightroom Classic and not Lightroom. And I don't know why it would be doing it only to the Z9 files. Um, but yeah, it is a, uh, it's a perplexing thing. And um, I guess we'll have to figure out what's, what's going on with it. But in the meantime, um, hope this is helpful. Let me know if you know what's going on. And uh, 
yeah, lesson learned. If you think there's something weird with your files, check them out in another program. I also used on one photo raw and opened some stuff there. And uh, it started showing me the program, the problems too. And it looked like they were just isolated to Lightroom Classic. So hope this is helpful to somebody and like and subscribe if uh, you're finding some value here. Thanks so much, guys.